Let's go to Utah right now, where testimony is expected to pick up in the civil ski accident trial involving Gwyneth Paltrow. On Friday, the award-winning actress and Goop CEO taking the stand to rebut Terry Sanderson's claims that she ran into him, saying it was Sanderson who caused the collision. The 76-year-old and his daughters claiming the accident caused him long-lasting injuries. Kelsey is here with what we can expect from today's testimonies. It's this he said, she said, but I mean, on the slopes, things kind of get messy. We got a whole lot of questions, Adrian, and really someone isn't telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth here. So Terry Sanderson claims that Gwyneth Paltrow hit him on the ski slope, but Paltrow claims Sanderson hit her on the ski slope. Here's Paltrow's testimony on Friday. I was skiing and two skis came between my skis forcing my legs apart and then there was a body pressing against me and there was a very strange grunting noise. So my brain was trying to make sense of what was happening. I thought, am I, is this a practical joke? Is someone like doing something perverted? This is really, really strange. My mind was going very, very quickly and I was trying to ascertain what was happening. On the flip side, here's retired optometrist Terry Sanderson. He claims back in 2016, Paltrow was skiing out of control, hit him from behind, landing on top of him. He says he suffered a brain injury and four broken ribs. His attorney claims that Paltrow dusted herself off and then left him there, failing to call for medical help. One of Sanderson's daughters explaining he's never been the same since the accident. My dad is very insecure. He doesn't show it, but he doesn't trust his brain anymore. And so this is important. According to Utah's ski law, whoever is further down the mountain has the right of way. In other words, skiers must watch out for, for what is right in front of them. If they hit someone, they are at fault. Sanderson's originally sued Paltrow for more than $3.1 million, but reduced it to $300,000 in damages. Now, Paltrow's team says Sanderson is suing her to exploit her wealth and her fame. Paltrow is countersuing for $1 and attorney fees. Now, court will resume in just the next couple of hours. It is expected that De Deer Valley ski instructor Eric Christensen will take the stand next. Now, he will take the stand on Paltrow's behalf. He has faced a lot of scrutiny, though, as Sanderson claims that Christensen made a false report in favor of Paltrow. Adrian. All right, Kelsey, thank you so much. Uh, we know, again, he's expected to take the stand. He's not been in the courtroom due to what his attorney says are health issues. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.